Yo, what is going on guys? Got a video here today titled Women are angry as they are now receiving the same energy that they give. Now this is on a channel called Alpha Male. It is suggested to me by a guy named Matrix of Madness. I'm going to leave both of their channels linked in the pinned comment. So let's jump right into today's episode. Because if I could explain to anybody how lonely pregnancy is, oh, I, I can't put it into words. I'm just so frustrated. You let him hit it raw. You didn't have second thoughts. Now you're a single mom. Now you're a single mom. I finally got the message, you know. He didn't love me. He didn't... He didn't even like me. But he liked the woman. Oh, yeah. So... You gotta love how modern women will literally go out there. They will have a child with some random dude, okay? Or a man that they, you know, thought that they loved. And then... Instantly, she's a single mother, okay? No accountability for the type of men that they choose. No accountability for having children, you know, simply randomly by quote-unquote accident or because they feel like it. And then they're crying when they have nobody there for them. It's crazy to me, guys. It is absolutely crazy. Uh, women will do something that can lead to them getting pregnant then they get pregnant and then they complain that the man's not around anymore despite the fact that he was some random hookup or that he wasn't a father type person in the first place. Maybe you should select the right man before you decide to potentially have a kid with him. But let's continue. I have been so hesitant to post about this um, for two reasons. Number one, I don't like negativity and I don't want to be like the bearer of bad news. Uh, number two, I didn't want to believe it. But after doing so much research and uh, getting a lot of messages, uh, I'm going to just deliver the unburnished truth to you guys. I'm just going to lay it out straight. We're in a dating crisis. Not basically, we are. That's what's happening. So let me look at my research here because I don't want to mess it up. So men looking for casual dates and our relationships is down 50%. Five zero. So yeah, we've covered this woman before. Um, and yes, okay, men are opting out. Men are opting out of dating. Men are opting out of... Hell, a lot of guys are even op opting out of the casual stuff because there isn't a lot of incentive for men to engage in these things anymore these days, right? Gone are the days, essentially, of having a great family and settling down and you work and you provide and you can care for her and she's going to appreciate it these days these long-term relationships these marriages are just riddled with risk and i'm supposed to do all of this for some random woman who you know posts on tiktok or who is absolutely crazy it's not happening guys like you cannot take what these womanists which more and more women are these days you can't take these womanists and then try and turn them into a housewife it doesn't work there are so many reasons why dudes are opting out of dating but that's just kind of one of them. 2019, not since 1970, since 2019. Right. And that's a short, that's a short time ago, 2019, just a few years ago. Right before the pandemic, down 50%. They're not looking, which means if you're a woman looking, they don't give a shit. So as this trend continues, by 2040, 45% of women, 40 five percent of women between the ages of 20 and 45 will be single and childless yeah and this is exactly what women asked for guys you know i'm strong and independent i don't need no man men should stop approaching me except for the attractive ones of course so i fail to see what the problem is here women have got exactly what they've asked for men are not approaching them anymore they're not looking to have these uh, relationships anymore so you know, this is exactly what these women asked for. So I don't particularly see an issue with this. You are single and you are in the dating marketplace at that time. When that happens, say you're 37, 36, 38, 40, whatever it may be. And you are still on the hunt for that man. And you hit the wall and you can see in your face that you are no longer the face that you were at, what, whether it was 30 or 35 or 25, whatever it is. 
What do you mean, still trying to find a man at 35, 36, 37? Okay, I'm so sick of seeing this narrative that these women who get to this age, you know, they're still just looking for their Prince Charming. They're looking for the right man. The right man has been and gone so many times. He gets overlooked. He gets treated like trash. He gets ignored and so on and so forth. And you mean to tell me that after almost two decades of looking for a man, you still cannot find one? There are plenty of good men, guys. Don't get it twisted. There are plenty of guys out there who are good men, who are viable men. Um, but these women think that they're above those particular guys. That's why they're single at these age brackets, you know? It's not something that magically happens overnight. Um, these women don't care about the dudes who have good morals, who are stable and things like this. They start to care more about stability as they go into 30s, of course, into their 30s. But no, they're always shooting out of their league. And then they wonder why dudes are only having quote-unquote situationships with them. Dudes are not having real relationships and so on and so forth. Because th these guys that these women are chasing, they don't want anything serious. You've already met your Prince Charming by the time you're 35. You've probably met multiple Prince Charmings. But these guys, they were too boring for you. They just weren't enough. You deserve better queen, never settle, etc. You are going to be panicked because now you know that you are going to compete with women who are younger, who are largely more fertile, not always, but largely speaking, yes, who have that youthfulness to them, who have that estrogen, progesterone, whatever the hormonal balance is that makes someone young, it's there and you're losing it. And you become hyper aware of that. And that is why women begin to panic. You know, I see this a lot, right? Where women are saying, oh, you know, men are just saying this because they want to scare women into relationships. No, we don't. If you want to go out there and screw around with bad boys until you quite literally cannot have children, that's fine. I don't give a damn. I'm, I'm not someone who's here to convince women to get into relationships and marriages and things like this. I think dudes are better off without marriages, for example. Okay. But we can't ignore reality, you know, and a lot of these girls who get to 35, they figure out the hard way that reality certainly does exist. They can't have kids anymore. Settling down with a man that they find remotely attractive is going to be significantly more difficult, you know, and so you can deny reality all you want, but eventually it will kick you in the backside. And it is really funny. Guys, I'm not, I'm not some, you know, dating coach for women or something like this, okay? I don't care if these women don't have relationships. If you don't want to have relationships, fine, that's your choice. You don't want to have kids, fine, that's your choice. It makes for more hilarious content for me. So at the end of the day, you know, I'm winning, <laughs> to, to be honest. The more, the more women who go out here and make these stupid decisions, oh, you, you'll find your Prince Charming at 50. It makes for hilarious content. And I think a lot of guys are the same way. They don't care. Go out there, do your own thing. That's what men are doing these days. They're going their own way. They're doing their own thing. And I think, quite frankly, that bothers a lot of these women deep down. But let's continue on to the next clip. What is happening here? New York City, of, of course. Of course, it's New York City. You know what I want to talk about, you guys? So I live in New York, specifically Brooklyn, and I be outside, you know, enjoying summer as I should. And I've been going to the block parties, all of that good stuff, you know, the day parties has been a time. Ah, uh, yes, the, the party is The men just stare at you. They just stare at you the whole time. They don't approach you. They don't want to get to know you. They don't want to, oh, do you want to drink? It's just a staring contest the whole time. I'm trying to figure out how am I supposed to meet my future husband if the men are not approaching? Because I'm not approaching a man. Like, it's giving the men want to be chased now. That's what it's giving, and I don't like it. Women. Wait, so you're frustrated because men are not approaching you? They're expecting you to approach them? I mean, isn't this, this what women have done the whole damn time? Expected men to approach them? Now, guys, I understand, you know, women who will go out there and approach men, they're more masculine and things like this typically, so they're not the best option, as it were, um, typically speaking. But, you know, men approaching you, it was a privilege, okay? And you said that you don't want men to approach you. You don't need no man. You're strong and independent. So why would men approach you in the first place? Also, this whole buying women drinks things, man, like, oh, men have to offer to buy me drinks. Do you know how many women go out there to parties and stuff specifically so that they can get free drinks from men that they're not attracted to anyway? I mean, women all the time, guys, brag about how dudes buy them drinks and they had no attraction to the man whatsoever. 
So why is it that men are expected to continue providing their resources, attention, validation to places that it's not appreciated in the first place? Like, it, I don't, I literally cannot comprehend this. Why, I don't drink anyway, right? But why am I supposed to buy you a drink? I don't want, I don't want to buy a woman a drink. I'm not going to be chump number 1000 of the evening who's buying some random woman a drink who probably doesn't even like me. I've said this before, before we continue into the next clip, guys, I want you to pay attention to this, okay? I think that clubbing and partying and all of this crap is a complete waste of time for men. I think, especially these days with the rise of online dating, things like Instagram and such, what women are doing is they have already selected the guy that they're going to go home with ahead of time. They've already talked to him on Instagram. They've already put up their story and he's replied to it and they've organized to potentially hang out that night. Women are going out here. They get the free drinks from the guys who they're not attracted to. And then they already have a destination in mind that they are going afterwards. I'm not here to convince women to go somewhere else. I'm not here to buy you things. I'm not here to, you know, dudes are done wasting their time, man. Absolutely done with it. But let's keep going. When they ask, what do you bring to the table? Your soul. My soul is the table. The what soul? Chairs. The rug underneath the table. My soul are the dinner place. My soul is the dinner. My soul is the dessert. My soul is the breakfast, the lunch, the brunch. My soul is the knives, the forks, the spoons. My soul is everything. The table, the house, all of it. My soul. And that's what's not going to be easily replaceable. Ma'am, let me just say this right now. You are so easily replaceable. <laughs> you, are, you are so easily damn replaceable. Women like this are a dime a dozen. They think they're absolutely everything. They're so incredibly entitled. And here's the thing. Let's just say you've got a guy who's very unattractive, right? And he can't get any women. Guess what? He's still better off by himself than being with someone who thinks that their soul is the table. Just say that you bring nothing. It's fine. Just say that you bring nothing to the relationship that men shouldn't date you. It's totally fine to accept where you're at. But of course, these women live in delusion land. Does anybody want to get married? No. Um, because... I need to, to get on this. That's nice. Like, I need to have kids. I need to get married before my grandparents pass away. And I also need to have kids before my dog passes away because he's a really good kid dog. Um, and I'm running out of time. You guys, it is hard out here. So applications are open. If you want to. It'll be hard. But I'm fun. Gotta bait those simps in the comments, right, guys? Just send in your applications. Give me more attention. Give me more validation. I'm running out of time. Now, I do believe that this woman is running out of time. Women who go into their 30s and who are in their 30s are certainly running out of time, at least to have a family. Um, those those uh, dinner conversations with your relatives are going to get progressively more awkward as they realize you've just been screwing around and hooking up with random men for the last decade. You know, it's going to get more awkward over time. You're not going to be able to have kids anymore, so you are running out of time. But women always have options, guys. Don't please understand that when they get on here and they're like, guys, apply to be my boyfriend. Why the hell am I applying to be your boyfriend? Like, serious question. Drop the damn ego. I'm not here writing you a job application so that I can get with some woman who's been with a whole bunch of dudes who tries to get attention and validation from strangers on the internet. That, to me, sounds like a terrible deal. That's like saying, hey, Taylor, do you want to spend $100,000 for some daily driver Toyota? <laughs> it's like, you know, or like some, some Honda Civic. No, no, I don't. I'm not here to apply for a position that nobody wants, right? Or at least men who respect themselves do not want this position. It's craziness out here, guys. Absolute craziness. Sir... What's up? So what's she replying to? She's replying to a comment here that says, Girl, you better have more than fun. What else are you bringing to the table? Can you cook, clean, and can you take directions well? Oh, she's not going to be happy about this one. Asking a woman to cook? Asking a woman to listen? Clean? My man. She's, she's not going to be happy with this one.
So she says that she's fun and that's what she brings to the table. Ah, yes, because that's what men, men are looking for, right? We're looking for fun girls. We're looking for those party women. They bring a lot of energy. <laughs> like, holy hell, they are so out of touch. You better have more than fun. What else are you bringing to the table? Can you cook, clean, take directions well? Oh boy. What makes you think that I need to take direction from a man? Okay, fine. Don't get a man who leads the relationship. You know what's so funny about these videos, guys, before we even continue with this, okay? Is women will get on here and they'll say, I don't want to take directions from a man. I, I don't want to be told what to do. But then if they get in a relationship with a man who doesn't lead, they ditch him anyway, right? You, you guys try, try, you know, you're out there dating a woman, you've got a wife, you've got a girlfriend, let her lead everywhere, let her drive everywhere, let her pay for everything, let her just make all the decisions. And she, she won't even like it, guys. Women love the ability, at least from what I understand, to let the man lead the relationship. Right? He makes the calls, you know, he takes the cars to the car to the mechanic, right? He does the um the directions, the planning. How many times do you guys see women saying, Where are all of the men who plan the date? You understand that if a man plans the date, he have to he has to give you directions on where the date is, right? He has to give you directions. So on the one hand, you have women who are saying, I don't want to take directions from a man. But then, as far as I can see it, they don't like being in a relationship with a man who doesn't lead it, right? Like, I'm so, it's so amazing to me, guys. It is absolutely amazing the cognitive dissonance that these women have. Because, again, they will ditch the men who don't lead the relationship in the first place. So, you just can't make them happy, guys. You're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. If you don't give the woman a directions, you don't lead things, then you're not a real man, she's not attracted to you at least behaviorally speaking, okay? But if you lead her and you give her directions, then she doesn't want to be led, she doesn't want directions, and you're controlling. I see, I see. First of all, second of all, are these directions to a place I wanna go? Like, home goods. <laughs> I love home goods. Um, Gucci, give me the directions to Gucci. I will take those very well. Have you guys noticed that some of my videos have gone missing over here on YouTube? That is because I am slowly moving them over to locals where I can actually host them without the risk of getting in trouble. If you are not aware, many creators are starting to move over to places like locals, rumble, etc because YouTube is not really a free speech platform. So if you are interested in supporting the channel and getting access to videos that are no longer available here, make sure that you come and join us over on Locals. The link will be in the video description down below. Supporters get access to their own exclusive videos that are no longer available to the public. So make sure you go to the link in the description and join us over there now. But anyway, guys, back to today's episode. Yeah, no. No wonder you're single, right? No, no wonder you don't bring anything to the relationship. You want to be led into a Gucci store. And notice how all of the directions that the women do want, it's always financial, guys, right? I won't listen to a man, but, you know, if he opens up his wallet and takes me to a designer store, then I'm going to listen. Get the hell out of here. What is this high level of entitlement, guys? You are, you're a woman who looks to be in her 30s, if not rapidly approaching them. You're running out of time. You bring nothing to the table. And you want men to buy you designer goods. In order, for, in order for you to listen to the man, he has to buy you designer goods. That is craziness, guys. Very well. Can I cook and can I clean? Yeah. Also very well. Can you build a home? I love these comparisons that we make, right? So the man has to the man has to build the home, but you have to make some eggs. <laughs> you see you see what I'm saying? I don't believe this woman can cook very well at all. I certainly do not. I think that women, it's like proportionate, right? The more time a woman spends complaining on TikTok and crying and making these dumb videos, the less she has an ability to cook. That's the way it works in my mind at least, guys. 
I think half of these women, they can't even boil damn water, to be honest with you. Okay, but of course, a man has to build a home in order for you to cook a meal for him. And you wonder why your dating life isn't working out well. You know, keep going out there. Go chase your situationships. I'm, so, I'm sure it'll be so fantastic. You know, all of these men who don't want you, you can't seem to get a man to commit to you. I wonder why that is. Can you build a home? Just by the way, I know for a fact there's probably dudes watching this video right now who are home builders. There are probably dudes who work in construction who could actually build a home, and they probably wouldn't want to date you either. Just throwing that out there. Can you woodwork? Can you hunt? Can you hunt? Can you be a hunter? Wait, I thought women didn't like it when men went out, when they hunted and they did fishing and things like this. I thought it was an ick. I wish these modern women would make up their mind, guys. Like, I thought it was an ick. If you show that you hunt in... I mean, how many times have we seen women say that it's a red flag if a man goes hunting? You know, I think a lot of guys can go out there and hunt. I also think that a lot of men can go out there and learn to hunt, but they've also been told not to because apparently it's unattractive. So pick a lane here. Pick a lane. Burn the patriarchy to the ground because this ah, is yes. absolutely absurd. <laughs> the patriarchy. Uh, <laughs> John. John Ways. John Wees. Shout out to John, by the way. John Wees. <laughs> ah, yes, the patriarchy, guys. That damn patriarchy. You know, you want a reasonable woman who can actually do more than boil water. You're part of the problem, guys. You're part of the problem. Holy hell. Let's continue to the next clip. Life is just not easy for the woman when she hits a certain age. We're talking about women who've kind of had this high life and then they've stopped getting offers because maybe now she's hit like 38, 40. And then it's almost like they've kind of gone into this dark hole now. It's so toxic, so it's like horrible. Well, here's the thing. Most men don't feel sorry for those women and I'll tell you why. The reason men don't feel sorry for them is because the experience that she begins to go through when she's older is the experience 90% of men go through every single day. The guy who works at the post office, the guy who helped you pack your bag, the yeah. guy who delivered your Amazon parcel, the guy in your class, the guy that you worked with, most guys are invisible. It is only the high value guys that catches women's attention, the guy who's mm -hmm. tall, attractive, and shape successful. So when women who have had that taste of the high life, have been that desirable, gotten all the attention, everything, they then get to a point where now they're being treated how most guys are treated, guys don't feel sorry for them. A lot of guys feel that if you wanted to have a partner, have a family settle down, you get that point in life and you haven't done that it's because you fucked up because you definitely had an abundance of opportunity to do that so it's very difficult for a lot of guys to have sympathy because for a lot of guys I it's like that, yeah. this is how it's been for us since day one and most of us don't even get to a point where we can attract a girl like you you've been there you've had the chance to get those guys but because you decided to play around maybe you didn't want it serious and that's fine like there's nothing wrong with it but you have to accept what comes with the path that you choose yeah i totally agree with this guy the problem is, you know, saying this to women is basically just a waste of time, right? Because a lot of them will not take accountability. They'll get to this age and then they'll blame the men. Okay. And again, here's another reason why the dudes don't have sympathy for women. I agree with what this guy said, but I'd also add the fact that a lot of these men were never wanted by these women. Okay. You have women who get older and then all of a sudden, once they've reached a certain point, they start reaching out to previous men, right? Hey, stranger. You guys have probably received those hey stranger messages from women as they get older, right? Now they want to slide into your DMs. Now they want to talk to you, particularly the men who become more successful. Maybe you've spent time building your career and things like this. Women will try and slide back in your DMs and try and talk to you again. They never wanted you, but for some reason when they hit you know, 40 years of age, when they hit their mid thirties, now they start messaging you. Now they start hitting you up. It's like, why would the men feel sorry for you? You never wanted those men. You treated those men terribly, and now you're trying to get attention, validation, resources. Now you want a retirement plan. Hell no. Go out there. C continue to enjoy the streets. This is what I'm saying, guys. Women chose the path, and that's fine. Stick to the path. Hey, you'll probably meet your Prince Charming when you're 60. Continue. Not my problem.
we talk oftentimes about this I don't need a man philosophy I don't need a man I don't need a man that's been indoctrinated into young women the reason for that is that in many cases men have been reduced to a wallet so women are having these conversations about men and they're saying well I have a job I have financial stability so I don't need a man for that and what they're forgetting about is all of the other things that guys bring to the table. They're forgetting about, you know, that shoulder to cry on. They're forgetting about that sense of union when times get tough. They're forgetting about someone, you know, starts breaking into your home and you're, you don't want to handle that situation. You want your protector guy to handle that situation. Let's be honest. They're forgetting about, well, I'm going to want kids and I'm going to want my kid to have a father, a real father. And remember, you know, women and men bring different things to the table. Dads and moms bring different things to the table. So a mom can't be a dad. A dad can't be a mom. It is different. What? I don't like this idea of like men having to sell themselves to women, right? Well, I could be a great father and I can be your shoulder to cry on and blah, blah, blah. I think a lot of guys are just done, man. They're done. They're not going to be your shoulder to cry on. They're not in interested in being um, the father of kids that hell half the time aren't even his. I mean, not half the time, but you see my point, okay? Well, there are so many other reasons. Look, men can do this for you. Men can do that for you as well. Men are good at this. Men are good at that. Um, I personally, guys, I don't want to be advertised to these women. I, I don't want to at all. I don't have an interest in having a relationship with these women, particularly the ones on TikTok, man. Like girls like this. Let me just go back for a second and pull up. Like this, this individual right here. Oh, hell no. You, you couldn't pay me money to quote unquote settle down and have a relationship with this woman. What about this woman here? begging for simps and, you know, dudes to come and marry her. And she's now taking applications. Okay. What do men look like? We're not, you know, we're not some little clown who's going to come along and do what you say. I, I, you know, absolutely no respect whatsoever, guys. It's like, oh yeah, men can also do this for you and we can protect you and we can do this. I mean, I don't want to protect these women, bro. I, I have zero interest in doing that. Let's continue. As pretty as she is and says, mom, I want to be a Dads and moms bring different things to the table. So a mom can't be a dad. A dad can't be a mom. It is different. What, what if Summer comes to you as pretty as she is and says, mom, I want to be a city girl? She ain't going to be no city girl. <laughs> so S Summer ain't allowed to be no city girl? Mm -mm. No. I want her raised totally different. Like, you know, I don't even want her to even see the light of day like that. Like, I really want her to just be like... You know, like never headed a school girl and she's on a whole nother way. Like, you know, I kind of was raised different, so I don't want to raise her up how I was raised. So, you know, I'm a city girl, ain't nothing wrong with it, but I don't want that for my daughter. Wait, if I'm sorry, I thought being a city girl was strong and empowering. You know, you go out here, you hook up with all these dudes, dudes on these dating applications, you make your own money, you don't need no man. I'm I, again, guys, I'm not seeing what the problem is here. I'm, I'm really not. Women dominated fields like education and nursing. Women who hold higher degrees, higher education, can no longer afford to work because of the cost of childcare. So they're going even more into debt with their significant student loans and then their inability to work. Not my problem. Should have thought about that before you became a single mother. Not my problem. Women are also in poverty more than men. That's who? <laughs> I know they have on, you know, more typically more consumer debt, but aren't more, for example, aren't more dudes homeless and things like this? I thought dudes' situations were actually way worse. Oftentimes these women, hell, they have dudes paying off their debt for them. We also don't get any paid parental leave. So women have to decide between bonding with their child or losing their job. Here's a decision you could make. Have a child with the correct man. Don't have a child and then either throw away the man or choose a man who runs away from you. Okay? This is just the consequences of your own actions. You can't convince me that they aren't trying to force us into pregnancy, force huh? us to be uneducated, and huh? make sure that we are in the home and reliant on men. It's actually the complete opposite right now. You're encouraged to go out there and work. You're encouraged to get more educated. I mean, how many diversity hires and things do we see these days, guys? Like, if, you, if oftentimes companies are out here choosing women over the dudes because they understand that the woman is a diversity hire. 
unless the company's kind of smart and they understand that they don't want HR disasters and things like this. But women have a large advantage in a lot of these things. You don't want to acknowledge it, but you certainly do. Women are not encouraged to be in the home these days. They're encouraged to go out there and live their city girl lifestyle, make their money. You don't need no man. You know, go out there and have some kids and you can choose to not have those kids at any point in time if you want to as well, because that's super empowering. We know that. I mean, no, this is completely backwards. But guys, we're going to be leaving today's episode there. My brain is turning to mush listening to some of these individuals. So don't forget to leave your thoughts and your comments. Make sure you take care of yourselves. And I'll be seeing you all in the next episode. Peace.